Winter Girls was inspired by letters I received from readers. Because of my own history with some disordered eating habits, it wasn't a topic that I really wanted to address because I was afraid of what I'd have to admit about my own self. But a few years ago, I started to get enough letters from readers who in the course of the correspondence would say things like, I'm writing to you from an inpatient clinic, or I'm cutting, or my mom doesn't know that I puke every night after dinner and I don't know how to tell her that and I don't know how to stop. I just kind of sensed a turn in my mail and I have no idea what kicked this off, but it, maybe it was just the universe sending the questions to me that I needed to answer. That is what absolutely ins inspired the writing of this book. It wasn't hard at all to get inside the mind of an anorexic and maybe that's a little scary for me. I think that many of Leah's thoughts though will be common to people who've not only gone through anorexia, but they'll be common to people who've struggled with depression. Because that's really what we're talking about. We're talking about someone who's deeply unhappy, unhappy to the point of changes in their brain chemistry. And some people when they're deeply unhappy will turn to overwork. Some people will turn to alcohol or cocaine or pot or heroin. And there's an awful lot of young girls in our culture because the culture rewards them when they get thin, who in their unhappiness turn to very dangerous eating behaviors. So unfortunately, maybe I can say it that way, it wasn't hard at all to get into her head.